See, this has been a real team effort. Um, but this is a situation that's had tragic effect. Um, we've lost young people because of this drug. So it's about time we do something about it. And on that point, um, we lost a young man, Oliver Smith, recently to this drug. And what I'd like to do now is invite his father, uh, Mr. Smith, up to the podium to uh, share a letter that he wanted to share with all of us. Governor Snyder, members of the House and Senate, on behalf of our son, Oliver Satchel Smith, and our family, thank you. Thank you for moving quickly and decisively. Thank you for recognizing the severity and magnitude of the problem and responding with one bipartisan vote. Your effort will save lives and immeasurable pain, and that is a certainty. To all the families that have suffered tragedy at the hands of Spice, K2, synthetic drugs, all drugs, you are in the thoughts and prayers of countless people. To those who suffer in silence, know that there is help, and though it is difficult, reach out. To those who speak out, thank you for your courage to do so. Lastly, to our friends, family, and everyone that has helped us during this difficult time, please know that your love has given us the strength to move forward. Please remember Oliver for what he truly was, a joyous young man that could light up a room with his infectious smile, a young man that brought love to all of us. And although he is gone, it does not mean that he loves us any less. We love you, Ops. Thank you. Appreciate that. I want to thank Mr. Smith and his family for coming here and sharing that. Um, now we'll sign the bill. And in accordance with our normal procedure, if we could keep the questions to the topic to begin with. <laughs> Those of you that are new to this haven't been through this experience before, so it's good we try to keep it on the topic. What our plan is, is working with the local law enforcement and state police, we are going to try to check every gas station and retailer that would potentially be selling this. Um, I think most uh, would know where this is being sold and through it's a stopping in uh, throughout the course of patrol or your daily uh, event is you stop in, it could t take a couple minutes, we're going to hand out the flyer, there's an educational part of this, educate them that this has to get off your shelf. Now will it all be done in one day? No, that would be unreasonable to believe. But we're going to work hard at this through the next month and I think our local law enforcement and state police, we're going to accomplish this because we know what it means to our kids. Um, 
you know, we did not check every establishment. It was more on a tip line. Our undercover narcotics officers have been out in the communities already knowing where this is being sold. So we're going to look at what, you know, we did last year and kind of wrap that up and, and put a little bit more, um, you know, emphasis on this, this K2, because remember, uh, anyone can purchase this. It's not a tobacco product if you're talking specifically K2. So a 10-year-old could literally go into a party store or a gas station and purchase this. There's no age, and we know that there's kids as young as 10 years old purchasing K2.